Hello and welcome to SnowRunner. I'm UK Gamer 8 and today we are looking at the iX 0.65 or the Mini Monster. Now this is a fantastic bit of kit. It's the smaller version of the iX Wrecker, slightly tweaked. Now he has got um, different model engines for different engines available from OP to just normal and what have you, which is uh, pretty nice. Now this is made by Puppy Master and it is it will be coming to console mods which is why i thought we'd have a quick look at it today we're going to take it for a spin on alaska i've got some studded tires so let's go into the garage and show you what customs customizations available so there we have now you can see he has got them marked up where we've got ov op and then se and v as well for the different types of options you want for it so the v's are pretty much a standard and then the se is i can't remember what the se bloody stood for now i did write it down and i can't find my pad but anyway so you've got these different engine options and then that's the overpowered ones now the overpowered is not extremely overpowered but it's got that little bit extra power there for it that's what we'll be using today and then we go on to the gearbox and we've got three different gearboxes options there which uh, that's pretty nice and then suspension wise it's got it all branded up the same thing we've got the se and the v so you know what what exactly you're getting basically which is pretty cool i like that that's a good little option to have so you know which if you're looking for op stuff then it's marked there so we are going to go go with um i think we will use the crawler suspension we'll use that one and then with the gearbox i've gone for the off-road torque shift and iggy's r d we'll go for that one we'll go for the top one on that one. Oh, and then back on to winches we've got a basic offline and extreme and so that one if you can't go go to a tree the tree will come to you so that must be an extended one on there we we'll go for the offline because i know i'm like i'm likely to roll the bloody thing and then we've got a snorkel on there as well frame add-ons now this one has got the atv on the back of it the, the ATV bed which is pretty nice that is so they, they drop down and the ATV I still haven't gone and had a look at the ATV yet I will do that shortly and then going on to other options and we've got quite a few different options for it with LED lighting and what have you and then different couple of different types of fenders on the back then we got the hood where you got the chrome grill and then front bumpers there's quite a few bumpers on there and you've actually got a thousand kilo weight on that one as well so we use the we use the standard one i think and then miscellaneous we've got quite a few different rails and what have you on there it's always nice to have these custom features and then we go on to the exhaust and we've got a couple of different exhaust options on there as well and then rims it's just the one set of rims and then colors got that that's the the one it comes with and then we've got all these other ones different colors here which all looks pretty nice isn't it nice and bright let's go for a yellow today let's go for yellow we're down in alaska so make it a bit brighter and yeah that's all your options for it we've got bubble heads as well if you want one of them i'll just put one of them in can't be bothered with them most of the time but there you go so let's go and give it a spin Right, so this gearbox here, you can see down the bottom right hand side then, we've got low, and then we've got low plus, which is uh, quite good, because a lot of time, how many times do you put it in low minus? I don't really use it that much until you get really stuck. So it'll be interesting to see how these studs get on, um, on the ice, on Alaska. So we're gonna head off. Now this isn't opened whatsoever, so we're gonna have to go through and hopefully it'll get through the mud all right well the snow oh yes look at that as soon as we go in low plus that just flew through there because we're gonna have to go under here along the pipeline as i haven't got any any of this opened up yet it's more or less a it is a brand new game i just came down here and got the bm 17 sold that for a bit of cash and that's it but i've managed to mod my game now so i don't need to to sell any vehicles we've got millions in the bank so we put that into auto does it slow down a bit oh no it's still going pretty strong those tires are working pretty well because there's a lot of tires they don't work very well in the snow 
but that seems to be working a treat. No issues with that. Now it has got permanent all-wheel drive and permanent diff on it, so non-switchable. Which I do prefer to have switchable, really. It's just in case you got stuck, you know you can tweak those buttons and get a little bit more out of it. So let's head our way up the road. Now we'll have to come in the back way of the White Valley. The White Valley? I, I tell you what, I get I get Alaska one so mixed up. I really do. I don't know why. It's probably because I haven't been on them enough with Alaska. But we, we can get to... I want to get down to the garage. Um, the one at the airfield. And then I've got a plan for that. As we seem to be having quite a few mods come into console. And what I want to do... I thought we'd go down to that garage because it's out the way. And what we do every time I find out another vehicle is coming to console we'll put it in that garage and then you can actually we'll have a run run a lineup of all the vehicles which are coming to console so that should be pretty cool now here um whoa bit of sliding going on and yeah we, we can't go through that tunnel because it's blocked so we're gonna have to go round back through the other side and come back on ourselves which uh, isn't too bad, at least we can give uh, the mini monster a bit of a, a test out. Now, I've used this a little bit already and it's a pretty nice vehicle actually. You see it's not completely overpowered whatsoever. Now we have got some, I didn't show you the frame add-ons, yeah there was frame add-ons, you've got some bits in the back, well I did show you the add-ons, the ATV and there are some repair points and fuel, which is always cool, so you know you can... Uh, Go and do a bit of skating and don't have to worry about running out of the old fuel. And it's flying through there with no issues whatsoever. Plenty of grip. It's flying. Whoa. There we go. And we should be able to head straight away. Up here, through the tunnel. Tops are gunning. But yeah, you can see it's not excessive o OP like some of the vehicles are. But got plenty of power. Right, through to Mountain River. So here we are at Mountain River. And it, it's annoying, it always comes up with the last thing. It's like we don't want to see any tracking whatsoever. Right, so we could have gone down that way, but... That was the way I went when I first started the game. Oh, I'll tell you what, I looked, I thought, oh, it's open. No, it's not. I haven't done anything on this map yet, so it's not going to be open. So we head our way down this way, and then we can cut across the river, back up the other side, and I head our way across. Because it shouldn't have any issues with this whatsoever. Oh, a little bit of damage there. But we've got quite a few repair points, I think. Yep, yeah, not loads, but we've got a few. Plenty for going on with. Now, I am loving these studded tyres. They're, uh... Oh, they're not slipping whatsoever. They're pretty, pretty good. And it is a nice-looking truck. It really is. Probably should have kept with the green. I did like that green. Nice and bright colour. But an excellent scout. Uh, that's what I love with all this stuff coming to console. You, see, you can, st when we get them, you won't need to start with any of your normal vehicles if you don't want to. You can get a mod and go and have a crack with it. Now I'm going to be going through some more mods. I've sent quite a few emails out to a lot of the modders to find out who's going to be submitting their mods, and some of them didn't even realise about it. So. At least I've uh, let them know. And I should get an email back, hopefully. Whoa, there we go. And let's get through to White Valley. Right, so here we are at White Valley. And you can see, we haven't done anything on this. And the main thing I wanted to do was head our way down the road and if we can get that garage opened. And then all the mods come into console mods. We can, I can go and buy it, put it at the 
at the airfield and we can have a well you can see them all in their glory then now I will I am going through I've got quite a few of these to review um, I've been looking at frogs uh, vehicles at the moment and they'll probably be the next ones I was gonna do because there's quite a few of them now I have asked I have asked froggy and he hasn't got back to me yet to see whether he's gonna put his stuff in for console mods but I don't think they wouldn't there's no sort of reason not to really now down there we've got the the dairy now I wonder if that one down there has actually got the all-wheel drive because that is yeah it must have because surely it must have and I should have triggered that mission shouldn't I and look at the grip on that way no problem whatsoever right let's show the task and accept it pluck the stuck truck right that did accept it didn't it yeah it did I just want to go on it, it must have of course it's going to have all your drive isn't it it's bound to have I've, I've been promoted oh, that's reset my rank I've got a little glitch I've um, I have gone into the files and changed it you need to deliver it oh so you can't enter it oh okay I tell you what we're all the monster I've only got an offline what's going on come on wrong way I've only got the offline um, yeah it is the offline winch but I wonder if it will pull it up there probably won't will it but we have got OP on there so let's give it a go because the first time I came to do this wow did we struggle did we struggle with it let's do a bit of low as well and then go up nice and slow and it's yeah it's, it's a weight issue isn't it of course it is we are in escape so trying to pull it with a uh, or the offline autonomous winch I can't believe the grip on that the amount of vehicles we as soon as you got down there you couldn't get it back up or it was a, a bit of a nightmare well without like winching anyway but that went up there with no issues and it's a nice and bright day it's what we like to see so you put it into highway whoa and there's the yeah or high range and that's where the overpower comes from should wait until the straight really shouldn't I get a little bit of speed up first and then we'll uh, put it into high let's try it down here now come on up through the gears what we in third fourth fifth bang no it doesn't so that high so it doesn't sort of shoot off until you get a little bit of speed up I think then again I don't think we need it but great handling with the Mini monster. Loving it. Very really nice truck. And it's not going to take us long down to get down to the, the garage whatsoever. I just wanted to get that opened up. And then we can just spawn vehicles right from there. Whoa. Yeah, we went a bit too quick for that bit. So you spawn vehicles right at the garage and then uh, drive them over, put them on the the airfield on the runway and then we can have them all lined up. Yep, and we're not getting across that bridge. But we can go around, it's not an issue, is it really? Look at it, it's flying. No issue on that whatsoever. Awesome truck, it's flying now. <coughs> oh, oh, excuse me. And it was going to be, wasn't it? At least it landed at rubber side down. That's the main. Tell you what, let's go off-road. Let's not just drive down the main road. Let's just 
go down here, go around the lake, and then we'll work our way back up. Because look at this thing in the snow, no issues whatsoever. Yeah, it's probably a little bit too quick when you put it in high, it's spinning up a little bit. So, what are they like on the ice? Yeah, and we have grip. So these are the studded, studded wheels, tyres. And no issues, we're already at the garage. Unbelievable. Now let's get proper winch position. Yep, that one. Hopefully that'll flip it over. Yep, yeah, it will. Made a little bit of a mess of that. But never mind. And at least that is the garage discovered. No, that's the trader store. Because it hasn't come up with a garage yet, has it? No, I suppose you've got to go around the front. It was a long time since I was here. Hell of a long time. Probably four months ago or something like that. Garage discovered. Brilliant. Now, the other thing was on this, we have got the options for the tailgate. We have some animation on that. So the tailgate opens and closes. And because I didn't show this on the IX Wrecker, and then you look on there, you've got the hood comes up. You see all the engine in there. Pretty cool. I like that. But yeah, I've battered this one. I really have. Never mind. So. There we have it, the IX 0.65 or the Mini Monster, as I think that's what everyone knows it as, the Mini Monster by Puppy Master, and fantastic job, really nice mod, and got plenty of power. Now I haven't tried it with the without the OP stuff on there, but it probably goes all right. I'll have to do that another time because uh, I've got quite a few mods to go through today. So I hope you've enjoyed this first look at the IX 0.65 or the Mini Monster. And if you did, why don't you go and check out my other videos. I've got plenty to choose from. And did you know I cover Snowrunner news? I, at the moment I'll be dropping probably every couple of days when I get the nod on what other mods are coming console. We're going to compile it in a list and then we're going to bring them all down to the runway and they will be all lined up at the runway so obviously we've got nothing there at the moment but next time you see it we will have a few vehicles down here and I thought it's a good place to put it bins we've got such a big nice open area and you can't go wrong can you so right out that's it for today I hope you've enjoyed this episode and if you did why not go out and check out my other videos plenty to choose from like I said so thanks for watching till the next time goodbye